Hello grade 3 students, I hope all of you are fine. This is Mr. Kamada for today's literacy online lesson. As you already know, literacy is about reading and writing. Uh, in literacy, you read and write stories, letters, poems, instructions, and so many other things. But uh, unit 1 is about the stories. So, for today's lesson, we are going to talk about stories. All of you like reading stories or listening to them, but uh, the question is, what do you find in stories? Okay, uh, in stories, you find things like characters and settings. I know you have already had lessons about characters and settings but we are going to have a quick revision about these two words again so what's the meaning of characters okay characters means the people or animals or any objects in the story it means the people or animals or any objects in the story whenever you read a story uh, you find people or animals acting or playing in that story but sometimes you find other objects or other things like a tree okay speaking in a story a tree talking in a story so if you find something like a tree okay talking in a story it means it is a character in the story remember we say character means the people or animals or any object in the story and there are also there is also main character what's the meaning of main character main character means the most important person in the story or the person who the story is mostly about or the person who the story is about for example uh, take the story of the boy who cried wolf most of you know the story of the boy who cried wolf the boy in the story is the main character the boy who cried wolf that boy in this story is the main character why because the story was mainly or mostly about this boy then we also have other characters what's the meaning of other characters other characters means other people in the story let's go back to the story of the boy who cried wolf uh, the boy who cried wolf is not uh, the boy in this story is not alone there are other people in this story Whenever this boy cried wolf, 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 uh, there are some people, the villagers, who came to help him. So these people who came to, to help him are the other characters. So uh, now we know that uh, in the story of the boy who cried wolf, there is a main character and there are other characters. Lastly, we have setting. What's the meaning of setting? Setting means the place where the story happens. It means the place where the story happens. It can also mean the time and weather of the story. But for today's lesson, uh, let's say it's the place where the story happened. Uh, now that we have seen the meaning of uh, character, main character, other characters and setting. We are going to look at a very short story so that we can find out the setting, the main character and other characters from that story. You have already seen the story. It is on page 8 and the story is called An Ordinary school day uh, 
But before we see uh, the story, we have to know the meaning of ordinary, which I guess you already saw, but I will repeat it. Um, the word ordinary means uh, not different or not special. If I say I am an ordinary teacher, it means I am not different from other teachers. I'm just like the other teachers. I'm not special. Okay, that's the meaning of ordinary. Then, uh, so if they say an ordinary school day, what does it mean? An ordinary school day. It means a school day which is not different from other school days. It's just like the other school days. There's nothing special about that school day. That's what it means. So, uh, the story goes like this. It goes like this. Once upon an ordinary school day, an ordinary boy woke from his ordinary dreams, got out of his ordinary bed, had an ordinary wash, put on his ordinary clothes, and ate his ordinary breakfast. The ordinary, the ordinary boy brushed his ordinary teeth, kissed his ordinary mom goodbye, and set off for his ordinary school. That's the story. It's very short, uh, but let's go back from the beginning and see what the story really means. Once upon an ordinary school day, meaning one school day which was ordinary, the school day was just like other school days. An ordinary boy woke from his ordinary dreams, meaning a boy who is not special, a boy just like you walk from his ordinary dreams. He walk from his usual dreams, daily dreams, the dreams that all kids dream about or dream of. For example, kids, what do you dream of? You dream of having ice cream, you dream of uh, buying new toys. So these are ordinary dreams. Then got out of his ordinary bed, an ordinary bed means a bed which is not special, okay? But a king's bed is not ordinary. You know why? Because most kings have beds made of gold. This is not an ordinary bed. Then had an ordinary wash, okay, means he washed his body, okay, in an ordinary way. And put on his ordinary clothes, okay, usual clothes, clothes like for people or like everybody's clothes, and ate his ordinary breakfast. He had his ordinary breakfast, meaning he had a breakfast just like the one you have every day. The ordinary boy brushed his ordinary teeth. Ordinary teeth means teeth just like the teeth of everybody, okay? Uh, doesn't have gold or anything in it, but if you have a golden tooth in your mouth, then it means you don't have ordinary teeth. You have a special tooth in your mouth, so it will not be ordinary. Then he kissed his ordinary mom goodbye and set off for his ordinary school. Uh, to set off means to begin moving, okay, to go to a place. So he set off for his ordinary school means he went to his ordinary school. The school too was ordinary. It was not a special school. It's just a school, just like Idris school. That's the end of the first part of the story. It's very short, but remember, 
our target or our aim here is to find out who the main character is to find out if there is another character and what the setting is so the questions are one how many characters are there in this story meaning how many people are there in this story then question two who is the main character who is the main character what does it mean it means um, who is the most important person in this story or uh, the story is about who here in this story then number three question number three is there another character if there is another character who okay number four what is the setting of this story meaning where did this story happen so let's get the answers Question one, how many characters are there? How many characters are there? As you see clearly in the picture, there are two characters. There are two characters. Okay, then question two, who is the main character? Uh -huh. The main character is the ordinary boy. The main character is the ordinary boy. Why is he the main character? Because the story is about him. The story is about the ordinary boy. Then number three, is there another character? Yes, of course, there is another character. Who is she? Or who is he? The other character is the ordinary mom. Okay, as you can see in the picture. And then number four, what is the setting of this story? Meaning the place. Okay, the setting is home. Okay, the setting is home because the story happened at home. But it is not school because the story has not happened at school. It has just happened at home. Okay, so that's uh, what we have for our first lesson but for our next lesson uh, I'll leave you with homework the homework is very simple uh, you are going to read a story on page 15 and 16 uh, the story is called Amazing Grace in this story what you're supposed to do is read it well understand it and find out who the main character is find out the other characters and the different settings in this story that's all that i need from you as your homework uh, that's the end of today's lesson i hope you have enjoyed it and uh, see you in the next lesson inshallah